Hey y'all, welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Britt and this is my husband Jared and today we are doing our billionth Walt Disney World haul. Literally billion. The hauls are such a, I feel like a traditional thing on YouTube and we never get tired of them and we feel like our subscribers never get tired of seeing them. Believe it or not, I don't know. I don't know how we <laughs> haven't ran out of things to buy in the parks, but we have got some new stuff to show you. We've had it since September. We went to Disney World in September. So... Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we went in September, so that is the beginning of all things Halloween and fall and all things warm and cozy. That's why we are now in our living room right now because we are just in the cozy mood and it is really hard for us to film in my office. In the living room we are. This is probably going to be our new filming location. We hope you like it. It's pretty cozy. We are at my, our kitchen bar and it just works. So because we went in September, like everything was getting to be Halloween themed and we're about to be at Halloween. We're only mm -hmm. a couple weeks away now. So what better thing for us to start off with? They yeah. have boo pillow. <laughs> I don't. It's a ghost pillow, and it says a "boo" to you on the back. And I've just decorated my house for fall by just. I mean, I decorated it in August. No big deal. But <laughs> weather, but, weather was 95 that day. She still put all the fall stuff out. But when I saw this, I was like, "This is perfect." It's a little Mickey ghost, and it's so <laughs> cute. And it says "boo" to you, which I love. So you can either have it on this side, or you can have it on this side so and you and you and you and it was $24.99 we are annual pass holders and DVC members so we get 25% or 20% off of everything so we never had to pay full price thank gosh because we don't know how to not buy things but I'm really excited about this pillow and I can either put it in my office or it might go in my living room where you want it to go office <laughs> He's like, contain that Mickey stuff well, in that like every, office. Everything in here is like actually fall themed and we, you have more like actual Halloween stuff in there so I think he belongs yeah. in there better. Okay. I think that is the only Halloween thing we got or fall thing that we yeah. got the whole time we were there. I just feel like this year the Halloween stuff isn't really my taste and we're getting ready to build a house and move so we're just kind of holding off on buying all decorations until we get into our new house another thing like we didn't go to the halloween party this year yeah we didn't go to the halloween party this year um last year kind of burned us out because it was so <laughs> crowded we couldn't even breathe <laughs> so we're like we need a break and speaking of break let's talk about how we relax we like to relax i like to take a bath and jared loves to take a shower and so we went to basin we picked up some new things that we've never gotten before per jared's request yeah so i got a basin candle so now they have candle wax and I, okay i didn't understand that it was candle wax me and joey <laughs> both had this like massive epiphany that we thought it was just like the bath salts that you just like put in here and you could put a wick and they somehow burn it, it's actually candle wax they have a whole different section but they look like they're in the same jar so it's yeah. got candle wax but make sure you read the labels <laughs> so you don't get them mixed up but me and joey each made a make your own candle and we chose scents that are like I think this one's like pumpkin, this one's midnight, and this one's gingerbread. Those are the three that we chose. We wanted it to feel folly, and they are goofy colors, and Just Joey's, Joey's favorite, favorite character. character, and Lucy's favorite character. So it was very fitting, and goofy is definitely growing on me. Classic goofy, not this new crackhead goofy <laughs> <laughs> that is in the new Mickey cartoon. So I was really excited. This is super fun. And then Jared... All right, so I just learned that this is a thing. Obviously, if you watch our channel before or seen our hauls, you know that we love bath bombs, especially basin ones. Well, apparently shower bombs are a thing, too. I didn't know that before. Me either. Britt didn't know that. And while we were there just looking, I saw that they had them, too. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give these things a try because I usually take showers over baths anyways. So he got three. <laughs> and all of them are kind of like invigorating, like really fresh smells that I think maybe like the first thing in the morning would really help wake me up some. I know like one is like eucalyptus. One is eucalyptus, one is peppermint, and the other one is my favorite scent, which is, um, I can't ever, as soon as I go to say it, it goes <laughs> it's away. It's my favorite, but I don't know the name of it. It is, it is my, it's been, if you've watched our videos for a long time, it's the same scent I've always talked about. It is the, hold on. Therapy. Therapy. It is therapy. <laughs> so usually whenever you buy something, they'll give you a card so you can remember like what your scent is. Even if you go there and all so, the time like we do. <laughs> and we forget. So Jared got eucalyptus, mint, did you get the menthol or the peppermint? You menthol. Menthol, yeah. Because yeah, we got all blue and green. So I got the therapy, Jared got eucalyptus and the menthol one. And they also have lavender, lemongrass, peppermint, rose gold, and satsuma, which is like that orangey, very mm -hmm. citrusy. That 
be great for a morning show. Oh, yeah. I got the menthol because cold and flu season is upon us. And, <laughs> and you so know, the pharmacist. <laughs> menthol is always a good thing to have for that. Okay, and the directions are place shower bomb on shower floor just outside of the direct spray of water. A small amount of water is required to release therapeutic aromas. Shower bombs can be used more than once if kept dry between showers. And you can get them at basin.com if you're not going to go into the parks. We picked up ours at Disney Springs. Did not say downtown Disney. Go Brit. All right, y'all. So we said we weren't in the like Halloween theme while we were at the parks this time. And there's a pretty good reason why. Because we, we were in the Star Wars theme. Yes. So we got to see Galaxy's Edge for the first time and we were blown away. It was so much bigger than we thought it was going to be. And pretty much all of the merchandise there, I would say about 90% of the merchandise there is stuff that you would only buy if you were like, True Star Wars. Star Wars fanatic. <laughs> it was like costumes and lightsabers and just really intense Star Wars stuff. Clothing and stuff like that. We like Star Wars. We're not like Star Wars gung-ho, but we definitely like it. So everything that we could pick up that wasn't real in-your-face Star Wars, we definitely picked it up. Except for the little plushies that I yeah. will definitely get next time. Pretty much all of it is Jared's. Pretty much all this is mine. So the first thing, which is kind of out of the ordinary for me to get, but... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to talk about the very first thing that Jared got because we've tried to film this part like eight times because when Jared says Millennium Falcon, he goes Millennium Falcon. So anyways, like I said, we're going to build a house hopefully in the next year. And so Jared wants an office and we're trying to collect things that he wants to display in his office. So this is not something he would typically get, but specifically it's something for his office and it is like this little figurine and it has the millennial falcon on it millennial or millennium millennium now you got me messed up the millennium falcon <laughs> i'm gonna hate editing this part okay so we're gonna refilm this part a hundred times because every time either one of us say millennial dang it i did it again <laughs> millennium falcon it's a good jedi mind trick <laughs> Okay, we're struggling so hard filming this next part because we cannot say Millennium Falcon. We keep saying Millennial Falcon because I keep hearing the word Millennial every time I turn around. The lady's mad about Millennials going to the parks without kids. There's Millennial pink stuff everywhere. <laughs> like, Millennium Falcon is like getting lost in translation somewhere upon this. But this is the next thing that we got. The Millennium Falcon and it's kind of like what it looks like when you go into the park It's sitting here and it's got like this backdrop of city behind it. It's really cool And it says black spire outpost, which is the name of the city or the yeah The city that you're in you're on planet Batu, but you're in the black spire outpost City our friend Josh had explained that to us. I was like, why does everything say black spire? He goes because that's the city you're in. I'm like, oh, okay. He's the one that is Gun Co. Star Wars. Please don't be anything else that says Millennium <laughs> Falcon on it. <laughs> We're over here all day. I've got this next one. One, because it's R2-D2. Two, because it's a wine stopper. And I've like got to this big kick lately about drinking wine. And so I saw this. He likes wine <laughs> like a basic white woman. Like yeah, this pretty boy much. loves him. Middle-aged wine. white ladies, look out. Because like I'll be your drinking partner, I guess. <laughs> Jared loves wine. That's his favorite part. When we go into the grocery store, he's like, okay, I'm going to go with wine. I'll see you later. I love it though. I think it's so cute. We saw this and I was like, oh sweet, R2-D2. And it's a wine stopper. I'm getting it. Somehow the price tag has been ripped off of this one. So I have yeah, they no never, clue. They, none of them had it on there. I remember They that. all got ripped off. So I don't know how much. <laughs> that was but I can tell you that this little figure was $29.99 all right so we collect pins and I think we collected every single <laughs> pin from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening we got five pins which I know is not all of them but it feels like a lot they were $12.99 $9.99 $15.99 that's it those are the different prices and some of them are pass holder ones and some of them are ones everybody can get but we'll just do a close-up so you can see them all got a back to one We've got a cleared landing 2019, one with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. We have the Black Spire Outpost one, which is, I think, personally my favorite. I really like it. And we got a BB-8 one. It says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Landing 2019. This one's really cool. It says nothing on the front. It just has like engraved city. And then it opens up and it says Black Spire Outpost. And it has kind of like a picture of the market. I would say just got Chewy, R2-D2, and it's just got all the characters. You can see some stormtroopers back there. It's really cool. But those are the pins that we picked up. We really like those and we... 
our two year old one around over here. <laughs> it was really cool to get all of those and we were excited, but we're pretty much tapped out on Galaxy's Edge pen. Yeah. We pretty much will never need another one for as long <laughs> as we live. And you know, we collect way too many pens and we also collect way too many mugs. So, so I think we only got one mug while we yeah, were here. Yeah, somehow we only finished with one, so we did pretty good. So on one side it says Batu, on the other side it says Black Spire Outpost and it's kind of just a diagram picture. And it's kind a matte black. The, that pen, but it's yeah. like a matte black mug. It's it really, is. really cool. Like if you weren't a Star Wars fan or a Disney World fan, you would have no idea that this <laughs> was a Star Wars mug. It yeah. looks really like masculine and sleek. I really like it. Actually, if like we didn't end up with anything else, this was like the one thing I wanted to keep for you sure. You almost didn't get it. I was yeah. like, you have to get that mug. He was like, we don't need another mug. I'm like, you can never have too many mugs. The mug was $16.99. All right, so we are gonna jump into snacks because I got quite a few of them. They're all like the same theme, except for just like, I think two of them. But this is not a snack, but it, a snack came in it. Josh bought Joey and I both a blue and red slushy, which is Joey and I's favorite, like, like just actually drink to That's get. That's the rider stop. I know. We started getting them at the rider stop. The second time yeah. I ever saw Joey, she wanted to get, like, I hung out with Joey in the parks. This is, like, what she wanted to go get, and she got me hooked on them. And Josh bought us both a little Mickey ear souvenir <laughs> cup. They've, they've apparently made these mugs, like, cup mugs. They've made these mugs. No. Apparently Mug. they've. Up. Apparently they've made these cups forever because Joey said she remembers when she was little like she had one of these and she drank out of it all the time So it was kind of nostalgic <laughs> and we both got one. So thanks Josh for my Mickey cup I love it so much. I can't wait to start drinking out of it And if you're looking for one of these if you want one or you'll pick up one for your kid or your 28 year old like me I got this at Goofy's Candy Co in Disney Springs. You said spring so effort Effortlessly. I'm really thinking about it. <laughs> okay, and my favorite candy, like candy candy to get in the parks are the Mrs. Incredible Strawberry Sour Belt. They are so good. They are so sour. Like they're way more sour than the sour belts that you can get like in your candy store in your mall and stuff like that. These are just the best ones I've ever had. And I've eaten these my whole life because they're my, like some of my favorite candy, but as far as Disney goes, I get a package of these every time I go, and I'm surprised I have not opened this yet, so good job, self-control. <laughs> you actually do exist. All right, the next things we're gonna move into that's candy related kind are also thing, all though. strawberry, because the <laughs> last time that we got a bunch of strawberry-like snacks that were Japanese, Britt freaked out and realized, apparently I like all things that are Japanese Jared, snack. Look, these are strawberries too, I didn't even realize no that. Fear. Like <laughs> like anything that's strawberry candy related, apparently Britt likes I it. I love it, but specifically the Japanese candy from Mitsukoshi in Epcot. When we were there the last couple of times, I got these really cool like biscuit cookies and they had strawberry filling inside. And then I got these like wafer sticks and they had strawberry filling inside and I was obsessed with them. And just like everything Disney, if I love something or Jared loves something, we better buy like all of it that trip because the next trip, it won't be it there. It won't be there. It could have been there 7,000 trips before that, but that one time we find it, it they're like, y'all like that? Get rid of it. This time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy everything strawberry just on the slim chance that something kind of tastes like the candy that I fell in love with the last time that is now no longer here. So it's quite a bit. I got the Hello Panda strawberry filled biscuits, cookies. I don't really know. I have too many friends that are British and so now I'm <laughs> calling things new things. These are just little snacks and they have pandas on them and they have strawberry filling on the inside. Pretty sure you can get these at like Walmart but everything's cooler when you get it at Disney and more expensive, so. <laughs> it has to taste better, she paid more for it. Yeah, so I got those. I also got the koalas that are <laughs> kind of cream filled. Um, it's like, what other kind of cute animal can we make into a Japanese snack? <laughs> it's basically the same exact thing. They even have like cut sides, like I'm pretty sure it's the same company that, actually no, it's not. This is, I'm not even gonna try to say these <laughs> things, but they're not the same company, but. Josh got the chocolate one of these, like they're the same biscuit on the outside and they're filled with chocolate for Joey because these are apparently her favorite. So I was like, well, I'm gonna get the strawberry ones. So I got those. I think those were $3 and these were $2. I am kind of feeling like I'm not going to like these because I just went to World Market and picked up some Hello Kitty. It's like a Hello Kitty version of <laughs> yeah, this. And I good. didn't, they were good. It was just really strawberry, but I got these Yan Yan strawberry cream cracker stick with dip and they're strawberry. These are $2. I got these 
I'm not really sure because like this part's an ice cream cone, but then you actually see the candy and it's heart shaped and it's chocolate on bottom and strawberry on top. So maybe it's gonna smell like it smell like a maybe it'll smell like it, but it also might taste like a chocolate covered strawberry. And then I know you can get these pretty much everywhere, but I got strawberry pocky. I've never actually eaten pocky before. Jared has gotten it several times, but I've never tried it. But I got the strawberry one to try it. And that's it for strawberry, but this is more ice cream. Um, these are a little bitty ice cream cones. I'm not really sure what they are. It just says soft ice cream shaped cute candy. It actually <laughs> says cute candy. So we'll see if this is any good or not. We might film a live video after this one goes up so we can do like a taste test of all these candies in case you would like to try these because I know they've had these in Mitsukoshi for a while. And the last thing I got from Mitsukoshi is um, this pack of, I don't know. These are just hard candies. It doesn't have any English on this package, so I have no idea what it was, but it has this really cute panda bear looking thing with really cute rosy cheeks. It has a watermelon, strawberry, ginger, lemon, and bottle of milk and a white carrot. So there's no telling what this is, but we will see. If I decide I don't like them, I usually put candy in my ears whenever I package up my ears that I make. And so if you buy some ears for me and I don't like these, these might be what you will get. <laughs> All right, that's it for the candy. That portion of this haul is over. Just kidding about us only getting one mug because apparently we got two. And we also have a bunch of these, like the You Are Here mugs. We are actually running out of places <laughs> to put those because they keep coming out with new designs. And, and this was a Studios one and I didn't have it. And of course I had to get the Studios one. And this is the You've Been There. Yeah. Or yeah. I've Been There. We, what does it say on the bottom? Been There collection. Yeah. Been There series. Like, oh, well, we've met everybody's bought the You Are Here. So now we're going to you've been there <laughs> but this one ha looks a little more classic studios on it has a lot I of things on it. it that aren't there it anymore. has a sorcerer's hat it does and it has like the mickey tower thing on that's here. above like when you walk in right at studios and the mickey that's on top of yeah. the globe and it has a few new things on it too but the inside color was really cool because we haven't had a mug like that before so we had to get it no i thought we actually already had this mug for some reason i remembered this color i guess i saw it in the park and i was like i didn't realize jared had gotten it until we got home and i was like did you break this mug and you're replacing it and you're not telling me he's like no i promise we don't have it i went and pulled down every mug from our cabinet to see if we had this mug and we didn't we didn't have it uh so it's really cool i really like it i love my favorite part of it is to play a starring role in your own story which i love that part because it reminds me of Great Movie Ride, which is no longer a thing. I picked up two like kitcheny things while I was there. I've been wanting both of these things. And I always add them to my cart on the Shop Disney website and I never buy them. So when I saw them in the park, I was like, okay, I have clearly one of these forever. I never buy them online when I'm looking because I also shop when I'm not at Disney for Disney things. I have a problem. But I picked up these chip clips because I love some chips. Jared, dry, I drive them crazy. Sure do. Because I love chips. And he's like, you're like a little rat over there all the time going, <laughs> so I need some chip clips so my chips don't go stale. And they're like little Mickey ice cream bars and they have a little bite bitten out of them. They have blue, red, green, and orange and they have little sparkles on the stick. And then I got these for my desk in my office because I always have water or some type of drink and a lot of times Jared will bring home like food to eat and he'll bring home a drink with it. You know like drinks and like those car like yeah, no, they always sweat from, yeah. and like from like a Chick-fil-A cup everything I always sweat and so I got this because my desk has always gotten wet and then fabric gets into it and I was like you know what? I've had enough of that so I'm getting these coasters and it's a coaster set for silicone coasters so they can be washed they can be cleaned they can be wiped off and I'm really excited about it it came with a Mickey waffle with some butter on his ear an ice cream sandwich a rice crispy treat and a donut the donut one is my favorite alongside all the rest of them <laughs> but I really like that donut one and it was $14.99 for a set of four of these and these chip clips were also $14.99. Jared found both of these while we were in World of Disney mm -hmm. and I am obsessed. I have seen this Mickey before a long time ago as like the regular colored Mickey and I can't find it anymore but I said and I didn't get the Steamboat Willie one whenever they had it and so they came out with it again and this one is smaller and it's like crocheted kind of like it looks crocheted. It feels like a sock monkey. I love it so much and one day when we have a baby I'll be happy to 
put this in their room. I got the Mickey one and I got the Perdita one because I love 101 Dalmatians. That's the reason I have my dog that I have right now. I bought my Airedale because I saw him on 101 Dalmatians. So I was like, ah, uh, Derek, I need that dog on my TV. <laughs> and I got him for my birthday one year and he's my child. And so 101 Dalmatians is very, very special to us. So we got Perdita and she has her little tag and her blue collar. And I never know if I need to say Steamboat Mickey or Steamboat Willie, but you know what I mean. It's just Mickey with a Steamboat hat on and his <laughs> gray coloring. So we got two of these and they had a couple other ones, didn't they? Yeah, they had the pink ones from uh, Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Yeah. And I think they had one more that I didn't particularly want, but this says Mickey Mouse Steamboat, well there you go, Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie. It's Mickey Mouse and he's in the Steamboat Willie Costume. cartoon. And it's from 1928 is what this says. Classic Cozy Knits is the name of these. That collection yeah, of Yeah, this plushies, collection. And this one says Perdita and it says 1961. So I guess the year that came out. It says limited release. And then it tells you about it on the tag. Perdita Matriarch in Walt Disney World. Walt Disney 101 Dalmatians has to protect her 15 puppies from the evil Cruella de Vil while rescuing, rescuing many other Dalmatian pups released in 1961. Really excited to now have these. So something else we got a lot of this trip and by us, I mean really Brett, I got one. <laughs> or some new magic bands because there are a bunch out this time that we hadn't seen before. And I love to wear a magic band that's like matches my outfit, outfit or, or my yeah. theme or my something or just one that just makes me smile because I used to do that with the plain colored ones. Well now I've started collecting the actual print ones. I never got a custom one before but I do like the print ones. So I got the Haunted Mansion one which is one that I've wanted for a long time and I finally got it. And it's just black with the purple, like, kind of mansion wallpaper. And I got the Lion King one. And it has um, the drawing that Rafiki does. It has Rafiki holding Simba. And the tree. It looks like the tree of life to me, but it's just Rafiki's tree. But that looks just like the tree of life yeah, <laughs> from Animal Kingdom. And it is this really pretty green color. And the last one I got is a Pocahontas one. And Pocahontas is one of my favorite Disney princesses. And it's got Miko and Flip and colored leaves. Really pretty and it's on a white band. And I really, really like these. I'm so glad that I got them. So the one that I got, I've actually wanted for a little while too. Because I've seen it on the app and I was like, okay, I've got to get that next time we go. And I saw it when we got there. So I actually actually got this one. I don't typically buy a lot of magic bands, but I really like this one because it's Genie dressed in his vacation outfit. It's like Jared's favorite yeah, Genie outfit. My favorite Genie. I've almost wanted to be in for Halloween one time, but so like at the end of the first movie, that's what he gets dressed in. And on the other side, it's him as the moon where he's laughing. Like, I think it's at the end of the movie where it yeah. cuts, cuts to that. And then it like zooms yeah. out. Like. Yeah, but it was really cool. So I picked this one up this trip. And Jared's currently drinking hot chocolate out of his Genie mug that Matches it. Yeah, <laughs> he loves Jeannie. Okay, and this trip I got three new Alex and Anis, which surprisingly is the only trip Jared's ever not surprised me with an Alex and Ani because you didn't fail. I just literally bought three like the first day I was there. So I guess you figured, okay, well, she's pretty tapped out. Like, I just didn't think about it. I saw them and I was like, I'm going to get these because they were new and I just knew I wanted them. So I didn't wait. So I got the um, donut Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse and she has pink icing and a red bow. And she's a donut. You didn't even say that. Yeah, I said the donut oh, Mickey, Minnie sorry. Mouse. Yeah, she's a donut. <laughs> and I got the Mickey ice cream bar and he has a chunk out of his ear and this one's really like shiny and soft. I really I like the way this one feels. And I also got, I didn't realize I got that on gold. I got a gold one, a silver one, and a rose gold one. Huh. Covered all your bases there. Yeah, I didn't even realize that. And I got the Simba one, like the drawing that Rafiki does. That's like my favorite symbol from Lion King is like the little Simba drawing. So I got it too. And the Alex and Anis are $44.99. They're so weird. Like this one's $44.99. This one's $44.95. Like what made you not charge like, an extra four cents on this there's like one? There's like four cents of extra detail in that one. <laughs> yeah. And then this one's, yeah, like what... That's so interesting. So anyways, they're they're $45. So something else I got, I actually got two necklaces while I was there and 
somehow I cannot find the other one. The, the other one that I got was like a headband, like a mouse ear headband, and it was um, kind of the iridescent one, and I wore it one day, and I'm pretty sure I probably left it at Joey's, but who knows, we'll find it. But the all other one I got, I was in the parks, and I didn't have a necklace on, and I had a shirt that just like looked like you just needed something else, because it was just a solid color. And I walked by this when I was with Joey, and I was like, I'm gonna get a necklace, and we picked one out and I got the, it's kind of like a choker one and it is a key, a Mickey key. So it's got Mickey's head on one side of it and it is a key and it's just really small and dainty and I really like it. And that key was $29.99. Either the key was $29.99 or that mouse ear headband, which, cause I, don't, I just have it in this box and I'm not sure which one actually came in this box. All right, the next thing that we got is something we got like just spur of the moment while we were at the parks one day because we felt like we needed it. We were it heavily so... influenced by the heat. We didn't even <laughs> use them. We were just like, it's hot. That's supposed to make us less hot. Let's buy it. And we didn't use it. And so we actually got but we got two, a pink one and a blue one, and the like cooling things that you put around your like neck. They're like just cooling the towels. They're kind of like chili pads, but they're yeah. Disney. So basically, you just wet them in like cold water, them. and you snap them like that, and it kind of like act, I guess activates it or something. But yeah, um, we had them because we also had Lucy with us yeah. at, at Animal Kingdom that day, and it was so dang hot that we were like, we need those because we might have to use that with Lucy. With her, yeah. Yeah, and so we picked them up, and the girl actually like wet them for us. Yeah, she really put nice. them in the ice water. That that, like the waters and stuff are so we got it in really cold yeah. water and then we didn't even use it <laughs> i think like i had makeup on and my hair was down and i was like well i can't like wipe my face with it and i don't know you didn't have an excuse why didn't you use yours i just wanted to have to have one too because she had a pink one Probably. <laughs> at some point we probably will use these though i think it's something good to have for yeah. future i've never gone in september again so that's not going to be <laughs> we're going to use them at home we'll use them for yard work but <laughs> yeah. we probably won't ever go to disney world when it is that hot again because it was blazing so hot i thought i was going to die like we went home and took naps but i went home we went to joey's house which is our house my second home in florida but we we left the parks midday every single day we were there because it was so hot we could not be there from like three to six we could not be in the parks in five Two years of us going we've never done that before either yeah but also it wasn't hot someone said today uh we worked the pumpkin patch at our church today and a man there said that it's the hot this september was the hottest it had been since 1914 so hot something else that i picked up while i was in animal kingdom was super random but i lucy got this little baby monkey that i bought her and we also bought her the little bubble one that's little mermaid by the way it plays music the entire time so like <laughs> i mean it's super fun for bubbles but it's also very repetitive because it plays the very like 10 word section of under the sea so just heads up if you're a mom and you're like i think i'm gonna get that for my kid make sure you have patience for hearing the same song 7,000 times. So Lucy got a little bitty monkey and I was like, okay, well, while I was looking for her something, I found this little keychain and it is a little cheetah leopard. I don't ever know which one's which, but <laughs> it's a little leopard cheetah and it's a keychain and it was $10 and it has a little tassel on the keychain too. And I just thought this would be really cute to just pop on a purse. Maybe one that I don't like if I'm not using my Disney purse and I just wanted to have something that was from Disney with me I could just pop this on there and now I got it from Animal Kingdom and it's very very light like it's like made of stuffing it's super super light I really like it okay Jared thought this was ridiculous but this was the least ridiculous thing that I got to me because I've wanted one of these forever he's also not a female that carries a purse around so very accurate statement this is like something I guess he doesn't understand but I got the purse hanger that you put on a table and it's weighted and it's skid proof on the bottom and you hang your purse on it so if you can't hang it on a chair that has like a spot where you can hang it like a rounded chair you can put this on the table and hang your purse on it these have been around forever and disney's had these and for some reason i've always seen them and not picked it up and this time i saw it and i was like i have wanted one of those forever so i got it it was only 10 bucks so you can just pop this in your purse and keep it all the time in case you go out to eat we go out to eat at restaurants all the time and i always have to put my purse on the floor and it drives me crazy because ew <laughs> and now I will have this and I can just hang it from the table and it won't be in anybody's way. No, dude. No. I feel like I've talked for the last like <laughs> 20 minutes of this, this last section, but the rest is clothing. So Jared doesn't really have a lot to talk about. What are you talking about? These headbands are definitely for me. I mean, if you need to 
get them to you know, take your makeup long, off. Long bangs to keep them out of my head. Your bangs do get pretty long. <laughs> but I found these and they are just like little headbands. Like I take my makeup off, obviously, and I wash my face. And so I thought it would be nice to have really long hair. And I like to pull my hair out of my face. Like even when I'm not washing my face, like I don't like my hair to be in my face. So I got these to keep in my bathroom to put on and like pull my hair back while I'm washing my face. And I got a small world one, a haunted mansion one, and a Dole Whip one. It's very tropical and Dole whip -y. I really like it. So I just thought that it would be cool to have a little bit of magic as I'm doing probably my least favorite thing in the world is taking my makeup off. So I can add some fun to it and go get my Disney headbands that have dual whips on them and put it on and take my makeup off. And they were $13.99 each, which now that I'm seeing this, I'm like, you spent $14 a piece on these headbands that you could probably make? Maybe they're on sale. <laughs> probably not. But um, anyways, I thought they were cool and I think that they'll definitely come in handy. They're more yeah. of like a practical, like everyday use thing, which a lot of this other stuff like is not the rest of it we have a whole bucket over here that we've been keeping everything in so the rest of what is in here is clothes that we picked up and uh jared's got a funny story about this one nope that's mine they look almost the same i know okay so uh, here you go all right if you've watched like our hauls before i think you've seen that we've been to uniqlo a lot and we, we love, love that, that place store. and we wish we had one in our town but we don't funny story about this shirt this is the one that i picked out that was going to be for me because Mickey's face, kind of old school looking in a way. It says, well, what do you know? Says, well, what do you know? And I don't know. I liked it. It's got little birds up here. I was like, yeah, I could do that one because a lot of them look really girly. Hint, hint to myself. I was like, this is the only one that's kind of semi-masculine. I'll, I'll get this one. And I got it myself. I remember thinking. Which is a large. That looks really short. <laughs> and so I get it back to Joey's and I try it on. And I put it on. And, and it looks like a crop top one, on One, it's really tight. And then two, it barely comes past my belly button. And I'm like, what in the world? Like, this so, sizing is totally off. It definitely says <laughs> women in the top corner. I mean, yeah. yeah, it says women Mickey art. I mean, whatever, if you're a guy and you are okay with wearing women's clothes, but Jared does not, does not fall into that category. I just, and I so, wasn't looking for a crop top for myself. <laughs> so he was like, man, I thought I got a shirt. And he got home and yeah. So I was like, well, you can just wear it to sleep. Nobody will know, it'll be all right. Which I want because I like bigger t-shirts to sleep in. <laughs> If he does put it on, I'll take a picture and just send it to all y'all. But uh, it was fourteen ninety, and well, yeah. these were on sale. I know for a fact these were on sale. I think that one was like five dollars or three dollars. It wasn't too. very much because we ended up getting several that were like this. Yeah, and so so that was mine. Let's see. Let me get all the Uniqlo. Okay, so I got three shirts at Uniqlo. So I got all white ones. I don't know why now we bought so many white T-shirts. I literally hate wearing the color white, but the designs were so cute. So I got this one that says, I scream, you scream, we all scream. And it's got <laughs> ice cream on it. And it has the Pixar ball, has Mike and Sully on it. But it was $14.90. And I'm pretty sure these were on sale too. But I thought it was really cute. And it's, I like to have shirts to wear to sleep and to sit and work in. I don't, like, I don't usually wear a lot of this, like, outside of my house, which is okay. Sometimes I do. But I pretty much love to put on Disney clothes whenever I'm sitting in my office making ears because I just feel like it, like, boosts my creativity to be surrounded in the same thing I'm making. So, that's going to be a work shirt as well as some of these. So, this is my... The next two shirts are my favorite shirts that I got. I don't really have a favorite between the two, but they're both my favorite. So I got this shirt. It is so cute. So it's Mickey and it says, he always makes you smile. And he's like in this like psychedelic mood where he's got <laughs> these really big eyes. He's holding the sunshine. There's like a planet like Saturn, Saturn over here. He's sitting on a rainbow and there's ice cream and hearts and mushrooms. Bless you, Oakley. Thanks for hacking. And it's got mushrooms and daisies and I thought that was spaghetti, but it's not. But I mean, it would make me <laughs> smile too. But it's just got all these happy things and it's just really cool. So it made me smile. And it's, this is like screen printed on here, but where it says he always makes you smile is actually embroidered. So I love a shirt that's got embroidered. It's like heavier and thicker and I really like that one. 
and it was $14.90. All their t-shirts are $14.90. This one, I wish it was embroidered because it looks embroidered, but it's like that puffy print. And it is the Fab Five. And it, they're just, it's such a simple t-shirt and I love it so much. It's just all of them and they're like kind of abstract. And I just thought this was really cute. It's super simple. This would be really cute just to throw, you could put any color sweater over this because it's got every color of the rainbow. I'm really excited to have that because I could wear that. And you, it is Disney, but it's not like, I mean, it's, it's all the characters, but it just still seems really simple. Yeah, it is. Okay, I've got four more things, but uh, my throat's starting to hurt because I'm <laughs> talking so much. So Jared's just gonna have to talk about some stuff that I got, so. I actually did pick this t-shirt out, even though it's for Brit. I actually picked this out because I thought it was so cool. It is so cool. So Joey almost died a, when she The saw front it. has like a lot going on with it, like all these different things that kind of make it It's got all the rods. Yeah. And it's, it's gone from all the parks, like right. Tower Terrace here, Tree of Life's here, and then like Epcot, Station Earth, like it's, they're all here. So it's got a little bit of everything. And then on the back, it kind of makes sense because it lists all these rides on here. And it has and the, the dates day they that they open. opened on. So like, they're not necessarily all rides, they're just things about Disney World. Like the first one says Cinderella Castle, and then it says like Country Bear Jamboree, and then on down it's like World Showcase, Journey into Imagination. All the way down to the last one, it actually has Pandora listed on here. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let you talk, and then I'm like, and then, I'm like, here I come, I was like, huh? And then, you just can't help it, can you? I just love this shirt so much, but it's just really cool. I think that it's, I don't know, I love this shirt. I think it's, a it's cool. very nostalgic. I feel like if you were going to Walt Disney World and you can only buy one souvenir, that is the souvenir yeah. you should buy because it looks like such a souvenir shirt, but it's also very sentimental and very nostalgic because it lists all the things that make Walt Disney, Walt Disney. All right, Oakley's here now because he was whining and wanted to be held. You still have their kipper, you can't be held, you're 85 pounds. Talk about looking psychedelic from that other t-shirt while you go. Pew! I mean, I feel like this like just jumps out at your eyes. All it says is Walt Disney World, but it's all this like 3D print, all these loud, loud, bright colors. So if you know the other version of this, which is the one I got in yeah. Disneyland, that it's like more like retro colors right. and it says Disneyland on it, obviously, like Disneyland, 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 instead of Walt Disney World. And I originally, the first time I ever saw it was the Disney World one and I was, almost got it, but I'm glad that I've got now like the yellow one that's Disneyland and the green one that's Walt Disney World and that one's definitely bright that's probably definitely one I'll keep and wear while I'm working but it was really cool I liked it a lot. The last t-shirt is like just kind of very very classic looking it's this print of like old 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 school Mickey and Minnie together inside a huge Mickey Mouse ear and it just says Walt Disney World across it it's just very very retro looking very very classic I feel like I picked this one up for you too maybe not but I got that one and I've already worn it actually I wore it in our <laughs> vlogs because I wanted to wear a t-shirt one day. I was tired of wearing cute clothes. Just wanted to relax, yo. So I wore that in some black Nike shirt. Okay. All right, Oakley. Join the party. Okay, so the very last thing that I picked up that we have currently right here, there's probably other stuff throughout the house. We always find something. As soon as we're done filming this, I will walk through my office and find something we got that we didn't put in the hall. But the last thing we have as of right now are these shoes. I love to wear Disney in my shoes. It's like, I like to wear normal basic shoes and then I'll pop that pop of Disney in in my shoes. So I picked up these black ones and they have a Minnie Mouse bow in them. They are so cute. I love these so much. They feel really cushiony when I picked them on up the inside, all again. Yeah. yeah. I'm really excited about these. I've wanted them forever and I'm excited that I finally got them. And they were $40. And I got these at the uh, Contemporary whenever I was refusing to leave and I was on the monorail headed back to my car head back to Joey's. I was like, I'm gonna stop at every stop on the monorail. All right, if y'all stuck with us through all of that, bless your heart and thank you so much. We, <laughs> we hope y'all enjoyed this brilliant haul. And thank you so much for being patient with us. We have not posted a vlog or a video of yeah. any sort in two weeks because life has been really crazy the last two weeks. Kipper, get out of the trash. Um, uh, life has been really crazy the last couple of weeks. We've got a lot going on. We could definitely use your prayer request. I know like people say you don't want to talk about stuff because you don't want to jinx stuff, but Jared is praying that he gets a new job that he's trying to get and I don't believe in jinxes. I believe in the power of prayer. So if 
that is something you also believe in, please pray for Jared that God will open doors. And just, you know, we could all use prayers and we've just got a lot going on as far as just like nothing bad. It's just a lot of decision making with building decisions. yeah, like building our house. We fired our architect, we got a new architect, like there's just a lot going on right now and we just need that extra boost of <laughs> Jesus to help us get through um, the next century, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, we just wanted to say thank you for understanding it and giving us like just a couple weeks to step away from the internet and step away from having to edit and add yeah, this to our plate. We sure. needed it and we appreciate it. Yeah. But we are back and next Monday we'll start our Disney September. The one, the trip we were just talking about. Just the, all this came out. from. Um, these vlogs will start monday which next is, monday which is such a new thing for us we never get caught up we are fast. so very caught up which is one thing i do want to address because we got a, a comment it was an actually it wasn't like a mean comment but it was a mean comment because um someone said if you're always going to be so behind on posting why do you even post videos well clearly they're new to our channel or they don't catch on very well because we have been on youtube for five years can y'all believe that? We have been YouTubers for five years, showing you our Disney trips. And from the very beginning, we only posted one video a week and it would be, we'd break up our day, but it would be in chronological order. And we post one day a week. And we do that because we live in Louisiana and we cannot post all of our videos in one week because then you won't have anything to watch. So we have to stretch our videos out from trips over several months until we can get back and film more and come back. So that's why a lot of times our videos are behind. Um, we're going to Disney in November next. And so you'll probably see vlogs in like, spring that are christmas vlogs so that's why you will see it like that and we just wanted to address that just so if you're not aware of that it's because if we don't do it that way we won't have a channel so we won't have any content so we hope that you understand that and to me i don't care when i watch a video when it was posted i watch videos from eight years ago <laughs> because i just like watching them i don't really care when they're released but some people do apparently but um for those of you that don't care thank you we love you very much and thank you so much for watching our haul. It was really fun to yeah, get was. these things and show them to you. We hope that you find magical things that spark joy for you when you head to the parks. And if you do, feel free to tag us in the things that you get. And our haul is literally up to the top. But um, <laughs> thank you for watching, and we will see you next Monday. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.